this is the Samsung Epix, E-P-I-X. So um, this section of the show, I like to do a tech uh, tip or a demo. And this week I decided since this phone just came out this week, I've had mine for a cup for a week to two weeks now, but uh, I like to call it a hybrid smartphone because it's not only a smartphone, this is a very nice Windows mobile device running on the AT&T 3G network. Originally they were going to call this the Blackjack 3, now it's called the Samsung Epix. This is basically a 4.4 ounce, 4 by 6 by 2.4 by a half inch thick, something like that. That's about the size of it. Um, it's comparable in size to the iPhone. It's comparable in a little bit smaller. Here, let me take that picture off the screen now and I'll show uh, my device and talk about it a little bit. Here's the, here's the BlackBerry Bold side by side with that. You can see I can put the BlackBerry Bold right behind it and it's a little bit smaller than the BlackBerry Bold. On thickness, it's uh, very similar. And if I grab my iPhone over here, even though it's in a case, um, you can see it's also about the same size as the iPhone and also very close to the same thickness as the iPhone too. Um, but this phone is awesome. So uh, basically, like I said, it's a 4.4 ounce Windows Mobile uh, device running Windows Mobile Professional 6.1 operating system, supporting 3.6 megabits per second on the UMTS and HSDPA network, 850 megahertz band, 1900 megahertz band, 2100 megahertz band. So this phone will operate anywhere in the world. Uh, GSM phone. Also supports the rolling back to the GPRS and Edge networks on the 850 through 1900 megahertz bands uh, here in the United States. Uh, it's got a 320 by 320 touch screen. So this is not a smartphone because it actually has a full blown touch screen. It's got uh, a stylus up here that you can pull out. That's a little extendable stylus that pulls out of the back. Um, it's got 256 megabytes of internal ROM. 150 megabytes of RAM. It's got a micro SD uh, expansion module where you can get up to a 32 gigabyte or you will be able to get up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD module for it. So it's memory upgradable. Two megapixel camera that has a resolution of 1600 by 1200 uh, pixels. It has some awesome features in the, the camera uh, for uh, video and uh, special effects. It has, you know, single shot, multi shot modes, a mosaic, even a night shot function built into it. This phone has Wi Fi, it has a GPS, it has support stereo Bluetooth, which is something that, um, like the iPhone, does not support. It has customized themes, so you can easily customize the look and feel of the screen there to make it look and feel the way you want want it to look and feel, supports SMS, uh, MMS, uh, like I showed you the stylus, it has uh, you know a silent mode obviously for vibrate and a full QWERTY keyboard. I mean see that keyboard? It's got a full keyboard and that's what I just really love in a phone and uh, kind of die for the iPhone. That's one of the things that really kind of makes it hard for me to use. I don't like keen on the on-screen uh, uh, keyboard. However, I love all sorts of other things about it. Um, the the most favorite thing that here in my list of uh, features that I like about this thing is this the the button right here in the middle that I'm pointing to with my finger there is an optical um, what are we calling it an optical navigator with mouse pointer. So if I if I move, we're not going to really be able to see it really well. But if I let me see if I can find it. There it is. If I, if you can see it there, you can see me moving a mouse pointer around the screen. So this is one of the first phones. Let's see, I can't really show you. Well, you guys get the idea. Just like you do on Windows or on your Mac OS or on any graphical user interface, this has full mouse. It's like a miniature trackpad. So you have full point and click like capabilities on there. Um, in the future, maybe what I can do is load uh, Sobe on here and do a remote control demonstration of it so you guys can actually see the screen. But it's full remote control and I can point and click, pull down the start menu, click Internet Explorer, you know, all that. And that that's, is really what's making the device for me, that feature as well as the full uh, QWERTY keyboard. And then uh, this thing also has up to seven hours of talk time, 14 days of standby time. 
Um, it battery supports. Battery life is awesome. Yeah, battery life is really good. But I mean, my note in here, I always want better battery life. So if you're really using the thing, you know, the seven hours of talk time is with Bluetooth turned off. Obviously, you turn on Bluetooth and you diminish that a little bit. Um, so I'm always one to want better battery life. Um, I've got, I've had every HTC phone too, and uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it seems to be better than the HTC phones. What I like about this phone better than HTC phones, it seems to be a better voice quality phone, and HTC seems to kind of lack in voice quality um, a lot of the time. Um, but this has full support for Java, something again that the iPhone doesn't have. Supports. It comes with the Sims 2 on it. With what? The Sims 2. I didn't oh, know the game? they had that. Yeah. It was mobile. It supports uh, mobile TV, uh, so you can watch mobile TV on this. It also supports video share, which is uh, an option where I can stream video from this phone to another phone that supports video share on the AT&T network. And uh, some of the notes I made here in my show notes say, you know, I said, why do I like this better than my iPhone? One, this is the big reason right here, true multitasking. I'm running, uh, right now, I can go in here, let me just go in here and I'm going to log into chat. For just a quick example, I'm going to log into this chat room and I can be in here chatting and doing all that and then I can go surf the internet, I can go start playing some music, I can fire up my sling box, I can do five or more programs all at once. Also with the, so that's the biggest thing over, you know, the iPhone and, uh, you know, expandable memory, the removable battery, better enterprise business support, meaning the the integration to the Microsoft Exchange server and the enterprise environment to do your calendaring, manage your contacts, all that I like a lot better than the iPhone. Um, and uh, then better line of business application support. So you don't, you're not stuck or bound to any sort of app store model, which is your only method to load applications. You can essentially just have someone email you the cab file and click load and load it or you can just put it on your memory stick and load it you know so you're not bound to all these uh, to the app store business model some other things uh, the voice quality is very good I love the mouse and pointer and because so I can use that pointer to go around I can also touch screen or I can okay you know I can move the mouse around I can touch on the screen or I can pull the stylus out and use that to touch on the screen so with those various options uh, the messaging is very good the scheduling and productivity are awesome on this device um, the multimedia is I'll give it a good you add something like VTAP and some other applications to run third-party apps to run your multimedia stuff and I give this a very good uh, rating you uh, the web browsing I give it a good but uh, again you add some third-party uh, browsers like Skyfire or Opera Mini and it turns it into very good. The GPS navigation is very good and the camera is very good, has nice features and effects. So, and then here's another note, I have, I'm a telephony geek hardcore, so comparing this to other phones compared to my Tilt um, and or other new HTC like devices, I like this unit a lot. The only thing that I might say it could lack a little bit is the size of this screen. You know, so if you're really keen on having a big screen, the iPhone, you know, you look at the size of the, the display on the iPhone and it's, uh, you know, what, uh, I mean, almost 40% larger. So if you really need that big screen, um, you know, you might, you might need the iPhone, but, uh, for business productivity, in my opinion, this is the best business productivity device on the market today. And it's on the AT&T 3G network, which makes it even better because you can get up to 1.7 megabits of uh, downlink data speeds on here. Uh, you can do simultaneous voice and data so I can talk on the, like right now I'm in chat, um, you know, I'm in chat right here. I'm going to, I'm just going to send hello. That's me on my epics right there I can go make a phone call and I can still be in chat um, I can go surf the internet and make a phone call and still be in chat um, I can fire up my sling box and mute the audio listen to some music surf the internet and be on a phone call you know you can't do that on an iPhone so in my opinion this is a badass device I'm gonna give it a 9 or 9.5 on the 1 to 10 scale 